I used to think that math was mostly a waste of time and as a consequence spent most of my school years languishing near the bottom of the math class. But life has a way of taking you in unexpected directions. So that when I started manufacturing spa covers, I realized that things like calculating corner radiuses were very important. What also surprised me was that although most people know what a radius is, very few people actually know how to calculate one. So let's have a look at how to do that. In this diagram, the line, the solid line running around in a curve here represents our corner. In my case, it's a spa, but it could be anything that corner, but we need to determine what that radius is, what the measurement of that curve is, so that if we are doing something like a spa cover, it'll fit over correctly. So our radius, of course, is the distance from the center of the circle out to the edge of the circle. And from the center to any part is equal. So our radius is the same there, and it's also the same there. Now that represents two sides of a square. So we can continue the square by making these two sides here. And those two sides are tantamount to the extension of the sides of, an, in my case, the spa. So if we continue it along there, continue it along here, we come to an artificial point, which would be the corner of the spa if it was square and there was no curve on it. So if we know that this is our radius distance, then, and it's a square where all four sides are equal, then whatever that distance is will be the same as that distance. So if we measure back from our artificial point, our 90 degree point, back to where the spa starts to curve, back to where it touches the spa, that distance there is our radius. Another method that we can use to check or at least double check the radius of our corner is called arcing from the center. We'll need a tape measure and what we do is we place the tip of the tape measure at the start of the curve of our radius and we put our finger somewhere where we think will be the center of the circle and then we just arc around like the old school compass and we see if that will trace the outline of the curve. If not, then it's just trial and error experimenting to find how far you have to extend out to get your center point. Trace it around and that reading, of course, the reading where your thumb is will be the radius. I like to use this method. It's the method I use when I go out on site to check, but it is trial and error. So perhaps if you're not used to reading a radius, then the extended sides version of reading back from the tip, from the, from the corner, back to where it touches the spar is possibly the better way to go.